think it's going to be necessary against the Frenchman. Well, let's find out right now. Astralis going to be starting on the CT side of Overpass and Vitality on the T side. And already, pretty quick with the Glocks, they do have at least one P250 on that T side. I always love it. It does just, it closes the gap on that USP and they never really know where it is. So they have to be a little bit careful and respect that Dupree. Oh, what a cool ninja corner there. But it is an all-in position. You're not going to be able to fall back from that. And trading has begun. Two for two for the minute and still plenty of time on that clock. So they've stolen the USP as well well on apex yeah very early engagement though for vitality this favors them like you said it gives them a minute 15 to work with and apex catching magus peeking for information Ooh. that is so sick absolutely had to happen there what a great punish now vitality giving themselves a man advantage and a two-man advantage apex yeah lucky even looked like he actually he he just pre-fired that he didn't even check he just shot the good the gun in instantly but it wasn't enough now it's sip on his own well known legend in the world of clutching but i don't think this is this is a little bit tricky right he's no idea where they actually are the bomb is out here on long still and slowly but surely sharks is going to be walking up behind him and the patience on cyber and apex is just evident they're just waiting and why not sharks timing is so good and it just takes a bullet tip it's like he he just had his hand on the pistol he was trying to do that quick draw thing Got that six gun out, but it's you not enough. You know that Shoxie was thinking about the knife. You know that Shoxie was thinking about the knife for a second there. You saw how he kept walking around so that he could walk to the edge of the stairs? That's dangerous. Had Zipnix not turned around, Shoxie is 100% sticking him. I wonder if you even can. Uh, if, if you stab him, won't you just be metal? Just that. Well, he Android. is a robot after yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> just you prove it. Sparks come flying out. You know, people change, Anders. Once upon a time, Shoxie would have never considered the knife. In he fact, we got really mad. <laughs> yeah, we got true. really mad about it. And that is true. Once well, upon a time. That's just how things go. Well, well, it's a terrific start. Yeah, that's a, it's a, that's a nice little start for them, isn't it? They bought a couple of MAC-10s. They could be really fast in this round. The Eagles, though, on the other side. And even a scout on Lucky. I like this approach here from Astralis. You get the Deagles up close like this, you get double body shot, you know, double body shot, and you've got Bubsky watching long, so that long range one shot headshot, the Deagles are just so versatile. And so Astralis putting themselves in a position where they can fight early, had Vitality tried to bully them in mid. But now that one smoke, you can see instant reaction from Dupree. Lucky even falling back a little bit as well. Yeah. They were definitely thinking that this could be a B play, and yeah, Dupree commits that smoke to Monster again. To deny Vitality. And Vitality, yeah, they're thinking about it. Gonna wait it out in the end. Interesting. It's easy for us to see that they should have just gone for it, but obviously if you're on that side, you're, you're gonna be real worried about it. Deep Molotov to be thrown as well, 40 seconds, but it's a really big stack down here. Magus is even coming as well. This could be a real big uh, issue for the French side. 35 seconds, Masuta, strong opening, but the pre is there with the MP9 taking down Masuta right afterwards. And now they're being slowed down. No tags really landing on them. These Deagles and the Scout are not doing enough damage at the moment. Trying to see if they can maybe adjust for it. Magus will get the one kill there, and he's getting onto the bomb side, making a fair bit of noise as he goes. Shock's just thinking about when to step out, and now is the time. Taking him down, and the spray will follow from the Gilil as Saiwu will be dropping Loki, and they'll win the round, but it was by no means easy. At what cost? Vitality are concerned. They can't be feeling too good about themselves on that one because they just got red hard. You're walking into the stack after all the posturing in mid. You get that smoke in mid, and you really think, okay, there was a window here, and yet you just got smashed pretty uh, pretty hard on that B bomb site. Fortunately for you, Shoxi and Saiwu were there to save you. <laughs> ah, the spot. Shoxi's one step ahead. He sees that triple. He sees that the triple boost. I mean, they don't have to react to it, but obviously when you see that, you know where almost everyone is, right? You've got you've got that read. It's a shame. It's fun to see the triple. I, it rarely does a lot, I feel like, but um, I don't know. The comedy value is certainly high. That's worth it all on its own. Nice yeah. grenade. Always. Anything for the laugh. Exactly. Oh, Ooh. Uh, Apex was already tagged up, so... He was vulnerable. He's getting that information. Shoxy going to get another kill. 1,200 bucks in the pocket for him so far. No, just the one kill. Never mind. He did the damage, but he didn't get the kill on that boost. That's right. Yeah. And they started to pick up the bomb on Kyojin, making their way to the A bomb site. Dupree's kind of hanging out up there. So, well, not any longer. Delete some. And they have time. I mean, they're, they're using their time really well in this round, Vitality. 
They don't have to commit to anything. Now they've got the B-bomb site, so just bring everyone back. Yeah, and Shoxy's already rotated into spawn, so this is brilliant work here from Vitality. Real patient stuff playing off of Shoxy's ability to get in here and get the info. Kyojin eventually going to figure out that he needs to plant in the box and uh, that the bomb will not get planted otherwise. Yeah, it's, it's even marked on the ground. Yeah. I you mean, can, in fact, figure it out. Sip would love to save this AK. That would actually be great news for him. Huge off angle by the sign. It's still going to be shot in the back eventually. So, I don't know. They do a little bit here. Masuta, though, he could pick up the AK-47. I think this is a fine round fight. On the T side to counter him. So, he could try and go for some play. And, yeah, he is going to be up in mid already. Just showing a little bit of presence. But not going aggro. Not going for the peak. Not looking for the early fight. Very passive stuff instead. And so... I suppose, you know, the thing is, like, that's the bare minimum on the CT side of Overpass, which is get a nade out there, right? So you can have yes. at least a little bit of presence, and they can't just walk straight in without worrying about you being in the corner waiting for you. But um, that is really the bare minimum. He has decided to go for a very passive strategy here on A. And, you know, I, I imagine if we are going to see the upset, which I think everyone is doubting, but Lucky has to somehow be a pivotal player, right? That AWP, we, we know who's going to be opening on the other side, and you just have to come up with more. I don't think he was doing horribly yesterday, Lucky, but it wasn't nearly as impressive as I really wanted it to be. I kind of, I kind of want a little bit more out of him. So, uh, I mean, it's still early days and all that for him to be on the team, but we'll see. Did spot someone there. Sticks around. Molotov will force him back. He's got some teammates here as well. It's not all bad. It's one of those things you got to mention. Oh, well, actually, hold on. As the push isn't quite there yet. They are just getting uh, that map control. 38 seconds left on the clock here for Vitality. And it's looking likely that uh, it could be the A hit. Lucky's just hoping. He's crossing his fingers that that's going to be the case. They're really running this clock down low. There's finally a target, but he can't really get back easily. Misses the follow-up, flicking the pre out in the open. He can't escape either. 20 seconds, and they find the opening that they need here. Vitality, the OG to pick up the kill on the pre. Now, Bubski, he's only good for the one here, so trading their way into the bomb site. They're happy with this. Two versus three at the moment. The bomb will be planted in the last eight seconds of the round. Going to go for a bit of a boost here. It's a nice idea, but I think he almost was being watched. That's a lot of damage onto Misuto to follow it up. He almost went down in the same spray. This can actually be done. Magus tapping the bomb to force them into the fight. Instant headshot on Magus. He is so good with that spray. It's outrageous. And Misuta actually has to go for it. Because otherwise, he's just going to be blind to defuse. So, quite the comeback into that round. Well played there at the end for Magus. Sick play for the Danes. That uh, can distract you. So good to see him able to focus up on the game right now and be here for his team. Yeah, and I mean, I, in general, right, he's, he's such a new addition to the team still in a way that he should be given a, lot of, a, a fair bit of runway, in my opinion, before we, before we, we bring the hammer mm -hmm. too much. But uh, he definitely had an opportunity to get the follow-up shot there, which I think, you know, like, that, that kind of play would have been really cool because if nothing else, it would have given more space for Dupree to fall back, even if he goes down afterwards. Vitality being really far back on the map and kind of shuffling around. And with this double setup in the connector, it, they could be at B very, very quickly. The Astralis side, that is. Sip hearing them, flashed in for the spray. He's gonna get two of them and a third coming through the smoke. That is absolutely perfect. Everything you dream of when you throw that pop flash. Dupree will get one kill there and still ends up with two versus one that they should be able to win. Sees the legs and takes him down. But that flashbang setup, that's how you wanted to play out. Doesn't always work that way, but this time was great. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, just see Apex actually getting a little bit uh, flustered already. Just trying to get the guys focused up here. But uh, it is worth mentioning again that Zipnix, he is the stand-in, but he is also, we got that in the pre-match interview with, from him, that he's playing in all of his old roles. So he doesn't have to try and change things up or fit True. in for the team. The team is actually fitting in around him. He's getting to just play his roles. And we saw how well he played yesterday. So it would be a shock to not see that same level today here against uh, Vitality. But speaking of uh, Sip, he guessed the economy, bought an MP9 instead. Fair play. Oh, Dupree. Wow. <laughs> Close line. That Deagle giving up the M4 as well, and Apex. Hmm. That's not good, though. I mean, as far as Dupree is concerned, yesterday he was a major player. Yes, he was. For Astralis, big factor in their win. But um, you don't want him to just get clotheslined right out the gates early in the half on the first map. I mean, you really do count on Dupree to bring the thunder. And I don't think they, they didn't even have anyone on the other side. He was reading out there alone in, yeah. in a lot of different ways. Yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. 
no armor on anyone except for sharks so that means even with the deagle and the m4 they should still be fairly beatable here if you get into any kind of an extended fight you just have that aim punch effect and it makes a big difference though obviously not against the awp so so that's that's maybe the one rifle where they could actually be happy about going up against it kyojin gets a bit close lucky with a good kill bobski there on the crossfire and so far so good for the defense on the a-bomb side 40 seconds left and apex gonna be taking down bobski just ready oh and a nice jump up apex playing this so well and he's gonna take down sip as well what a god magus coming up from behind but this is such a turnaround for vitality magus missing a little bit of a spray there which is very unusual trying to see if he can maybe outplay apex but now yeah reminding himself of that bomb and deciding not to go for the fight which i think is a good idea smoke goes up but magus probably just happy to try and play around that if he could see it can he not quite <laughs> it would look like maybe he would have walked into death there but now I don't know, this is a huge crossfire that's been set up. How do you breach this one? He's going to get one of them, but no side boots on the other side. He goes looking and he'll still go down. That is all Apex, all the way, a quad kill. Like you've got a, you've got a sweater and you've got a little thread that's come loose. Yeah, and then you pull you that thread. You on it and you're like, oh no. Oh no, you don't have a sweater anymore. Oh, Zywu. Right, this has got to be frustrating for Vitality. That's the second time, or Astralis rather, that's the second time they've tried to go for a boost over here. And they've gotten punished. You know, you can do a quad boost in this bomb site. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned it several times, Andrew. I'm still waiting for the team to do it, though. That's why I'm mentioning it. I'm like, <laughs> eventually someone's going to take note. Someone's going to take note and be like, wait, hold on. Andrew said something here. Really? That air conditioning inlet, outlet, whatever it is, the fan that's on the wall right where the, this, little, this little box is, where Cyber uh -huh. was standing, that's where you can do it. Quad boost to look over into the sewer. And you need... You actually need all five people to do it, because the... You need that sounds like a, quite the investment. A little bit more than the uh, the boost outside of T-Spawn. It's more of a circus act than an actual strategy, but uh -huh. I don't think that really discounts it. I think that makes it better. That's what I really love about it. Okay, so you know how you have the Astralis stack on, on uh, Inferno? Where you just have everybody stacked up over towards B? Yeah. You just need to do that here on Overpass. On an, on an eco round, you just get all five, just that's stack it. them up. That's it. You can see them coming out of the tunnel. Like, that's how high up you, you get. So when they walk out of the tunnel, Titan, best yeah. uh, best hair in the industry, I'd say. I know that throwback is going to be amazing when we, especially like ten years from now, when all the hairstyles have really changed. You know, mm -hmm. we're going like, to go back, and I, you know, I think it's going to come full circle, man. Definitely. Somebody's going to look like existence again soon enough. Handsome doubles. Look a little dreamy there, Samna. We're heading into the eighth round. Scoreline is uh, two to five and zip this time, not getting the multi spray down. Bubsky trying to follow it up with the M4A1. So maybe not the best weapon to spray. There it comes, the M4A4. That's what it's all about. That's why we buy it. Shocks now on his own in a one versus four. Then he did turn into a one versus three, but a long way to go. He is down to 56 health and they know exactly where he is. Bomb is on the other side. A lot is stacked against him and eventually Lucky will find him. So a third round for, uh, for Astralis. And well, he's a pro player. He can do that blind, no problem at all. You can see it at least gets a one-for-one one trade there, and that sets it all up. Ooh, look at Lucky. He's buying the AWP instead of the AWP. He could have afforded the, the, the AWP here. I wonder if that is... I mean, it could have... It doesn't even have to be specifically about his AWPing, but it can just be a, a style thing where you're like, I'm not really feeling it with the AWP right now. Like, they're putting a lot of pressure on me, and I, I just... I'm not getting the sniper... The, the battles that I want, so... AWP is a really good re replacement for it. Interested to see how that's going to play out. A ninth round. Bomb's really far back, so Vitality are just out looking for openings or information or anything else. They're gonna find Lucky. He tries to pre-fire just a bit. I think he might have seen the shadow there, but Saibu quick with the trade, and actually he'll get Dupree as well. I think Lucky did fine there, but um, probably Dupree should have had that follow-up. Apex, he is so far up. And Bubsky just wasn't expecting it. Wow. That's just that's what you get when he gets Zywu, man. He's getting that second kill. He has no right to get that second kill. He should absolutely True. not be collecting it. And yet, it's uh, Dupree who continues to struggle to come up with the goods. Nine rounds in, only four kills for him. He's gotten clotheslined a few times now. And, uh, you know, Zywu, yes, that's a very unlikely kill for him to be picking up. But still, Dupree kind of needs to be stepping up a little bit more on an individual level here. He is one of the heavy hitters for this team. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um... But well done, Cyber. You're right. Real important stuff right there. And that was, I mean, that, again, was just a mission to find 
one opening they would have been fine with, but they ended up killing four people, so fair play. Sip is going to get a kill there. Ten seconds left. Please pick up the bomb and put it down. So King of Clutch back in play, huh? Thinking memes, about it for a second there. I was going to say, the memes are funny, but at the same time, you know, we, can, we can't handle it. It's too much. Sip is going to try and see if you can save the gun, which they need. They don't really have any money to work with here. In fact, the way that this has played out so far for Astralis in terms of of how they've sort of stacked the rounds, it's actually working really heavily against them when it comes to the economy. Oh, shocks. Definitely hearing that and finding him as well. Instant headshot. Well planned. Just taking a gander real quick at the uh, next map in this. It's going to be Nuke. And uh, Maniac brought this up on the desk earlier that uh, the only team that Vitality are losing Nuke to is uh, Navi. So, Dr. Maniac. Dr. Maniac, that's right, Dr. Maniac. Uh, his, uh, his assessment of the situation is that uh, it's grim. The outlook is grim. Yeah. Just diagnose the problem. I like it. Magus goes down. Scout in play, Org in play, some deagles to follow it up. It's not really the, you know, it's not a super amazing setup that they've got here, but they've decided to try and go a little bit all in in this round, spending all of their money, in fact. Ooh, Lovsky, certainly trying. So far, not really getting that deal shot. Sharks is down low. Lucky is, you know, they, I think you might have heard them running back. I don't think they were really silent doing this, so, so. If. If he communicates with his team, then uh, maybe they could figure it out. If. <laughs> Hopefully he does, although footsteps are out and they are going to be out of dodge in just a moment's time. Bubsky is going to rotate back down to the bomb side. Zip is right hot on his heels. Yeah, and they know. Lucky is actually walking up behind them. The timing, if they can stay alive inside of the bomb site for three seconds or something like that, it could be really amazing. Setting it all up, opening the door, the spray is in. He's going to get one good kill there. 30 seconds on the clock, and now he just has to stay alive. Just by the time, make sure they have to stay here and get stuck while your team is just waiting on the other side. Yep, staying alive is the only thing that matters in that one. There's a little bit of a double for Dupree, some revenge. He goes for more, but now there's only 15 seconds left. So what do they do, Vitality? They can't really slow it down, and they won't. Cyborg comes with a kill. Apex somehow reads it, turns around and shoots into the smoke, and just like that, it's going to be a bomb plant here. Lucky, does he risk it to try and go through? He's waiting for it. Jumps right out, but he's so exposed at the moment. Apex going to catch him as he Jumps up on the railing and takes him down. Great double kick. And I think even opening the door there, Lucky, you could tell that there was some nerves getting into play. It's like he sort of... But you have three kill. You got three guys in front of you like that. It's, it's rough. It is. It actually three really targets. is, right? You have too many targets. Yeah. But um, I, I'm happy that he decided to fall back instead of continuing the fight because I think that gave his team a pretty good shot here. Speaking of, of nerves, this is the opposite, right? Insane trigger discipline from Sharks executing one of them and just quickly taking the kill. <laughs> that but was so cold, man. That it is so brutal. So uh, he already had he already had one little piggy in the trap. And I love exactly. And you know how Shox is just thinking he's not there alone. You know, if he's not looking right, he's got a teammate behind him, you know? Yeah. So he's just like, just wait, wait. And there it is. There's the second one. <laughs> but that's what you get. I mean, Shoxy, he's, you know, he's been around. He's a, he's a veteran, true legend of the game, a god, some might say. Yeah, oh. I mean, used to go by Shark Shit Jesus, so mm -hmm. we're not far off. Three to five at the moment here in the round, and Apex is checking the bomb site and calling it in, radioing that in, saying it's kind of all good. What's amazing to me is that it seems like Shoxy and Apex, I mean, for the first time in a long time, it feels like Shoxy and Apex have kind of, they've got a balance now, right? Yeah. Because it, before it was like, okay, Shoxy's on the roster, and then you, <coughs> kind of like NBK, where you're going to have a countdown that starts to kick in as to how long it's going to be able to continue that way before the leadership on the team takes a before hit. Before things turn French. Yes, and to start falling apart. And, uh, well, for, it seems like, you know, at least as far as Shoxy and Apex are concerned, now they've found an equilibrium, a balance. They do need some kind of device. Where they're, like, we've got too much French energy in the room, guys. We have to find a way How to bring it How do you diffuse this? But that's, you know, it's it gets um, it gets messy. Because uh, this is the thing Standard way of diffusing that situation. This is the thing. Obviously, Denmark at the moment have a, it's a lot of different talent, right? And Sweden, obviously, a legendary country okay. when it comes to Counter-Strike and all the rest of it. But there have been so many times in CSGO where, where, where the French scene have had just everything to, to make the best team in the world. Like, legitimately multiple times where that's been true. And every single time, it's just not worked long enough. Or it's been like the wrong month of it. It's just inc it's incredible. You took this a totally different direction than what I was expecting from you, to be fair, though. Yeah? So I was like, well, I mean, Danes, didn't you guys just hang people from trees? You know, it wasn't nearly as messy as uh, guillotines. Oh, 
Look, they had actually boosted behind shocks. Oh. oh no. And they get off of the boost right as he steps <laughs> out? Are you kidding me? Uh, a wonderful video editor called that. That's amazing. Thank you. I did not see that, but that's really well done. Um, eight to three, the scoreline now as we move into the 12th round. But yeah, I mean, I just, I, I want for this version of a French team to not end up the same way. That's actually an Astralis strategy that they're trying to use against them. Very cool. I like it. They've noticed the, the trend here that the Astralis just keep boosting. Yeah. So I like that they decided to, to go ahead and throw a quick uh, nade combo out there. See if they can get a punish. Unfortunately, this is the one round Astralis have not gone for a boost. Aggro hold though coming in here from Astralis. A little bit more presence and connector from Dupree and Zip. They've set a little bit of a trap. And Misuda's playing this very patiently. In the meantime, Zaiwu Kyojin and Apex are just taking over long, so Lucky's gonna get tested in a moment. Does Zaiwu have a flash? Yes, he does. Flash what did they uh, do? peak. Oh, that was a nice shot. That's actually really hard to get those gap shots in. Mm -hmm. But um, he did it well enough. And they've given up mostly on the connector setup. Dupree's still lingering around in there. This is the best round that Astralis have had yet. Yes, it really feels like it. Now, if they could if they could get some information of what was happening outside of B, they could even start to rotate people into the A-bomb site. And that could get real interesting. Dupree, though, he is close. Vitality know that someone was in this position, so I'm, I'm assuming someone will be checking sort of if, if fairly often. But not as Dupree comes walking out and just easily takes down Masuta and even shooting Shox a little bit in the back. Deep nade to try and make things even worse. And they're in a lot of trouble here. Shox has gone down. Sip able to pick up that one. Apex, he's got the health for it. Bomb's being planted, but running and gunning for the smoke. And they're going to be able to take care of that round. Finding a fourth one, finally. But at least that was a bomb plant for the uh, Vitality side. If it's worth pointing out, because I've been talking about Lucky a little bit. I don't know mm. if I've been criticizing him too much, but I've, I, I'm just so interested. It's not, it's not that I'm out to get him. I'm just really interested in him as, as a player. But I've completely missed the fact that Kyojin and Masutra are both actually playing really badly at the moment. Kyojin on two kills, Masutra on four kills. It's everyone else. The other three on Vitality, they're doing all the work right now. So that has to change. Oh, lucky though, missing a shot. The backup is there. Dupree gonna get one of them, but Cyber just comes charging right for the smoke. And this battle not working out in favor of Astralis at the moment, at least. Sip deciding not to be the third one to go for that. Just wants to fall back instead. And bullets chasing him not connecting bobski though they've given up on the b bomb side he's actually walking up behind them this could be insane and he's gonna drop one kill there on shocks doesn't want to keep going nice little return there so now yep yeah, they're really stretched out they're weirdly sandwiched in the rest of vitality but they're gonna be able to at least make it a two on two. Oh, oh i can't believe this still walks away from that hmm. he i thought one, that was gonna one be point of damage. perfect he but anders it's still zaiwu yes zaiwu is still alive as so long as he's alive, there's still a chance. Although Apex is top fragging. You know, you, that's a good point that you make. 15 kills for Apex so far. 13 for Shoxi, 12 for Zywo. But again, <laughs> Zywo, he's just too strong. Bobski checking really, really far outside of the bomb site. Magus is also walking in, checking all over the place, over the restrooms. But yeah, they're going to be walking in through the L bend onto the B bomb site. Bobski. He is about to be in an absolutely brilliant position. It's very hard for them to turn around and check this when they've just come through here five seconds ago. That's just so hard to do. Does walk in, perfect timing. Bomb still being planted. Sideway just says, all right, I just have to go for it inside of the smoke. And he does at least put it down. Now in a one versus two, and they're not out of the woods yet, Astralis. They clearly have the advantage right here. But let's just see what he could do. He's got all the health. He's got the AK. He's slowly walking back. And he gets just around the corner. Back for the headshot. Oh, he saw that. And he wants more. Nearly getting Bobski. <laughs> He's going to clutch it anyway. Still a chance for Vitality. There's still a chance for Vitality. Anything is possible when he's involved. He will play a clutch to perfection. So, yeah, that was cool. Once again, a little bit of aggression coming out here from Astralis early on. Anti-Rush nades getting thrown out here with these mollies. And now Lucky... Just hoping that somebody was going to give him a target there, but Shoxi's way up cat very early on here on short. Misuta looking for the entry, aging his way around the corner. He really wants to get it done. Nice little Molotov. That's going to tip the hand, give away some of the setup here. Look, he's still able to pick up the kill on Saibu. Great find. A lot of damage dealt. Look at that. Misuta down to one health. Apex on a 31. 
This is so far shaped up very nicely for Astralis. Now it's on Shoxy to see if he can find the goods. Oh, nicely done. Even getting, even though he was jumped up there, but still really cool. Sip with the Orc, that's the bomb on the ground. They have plenty of time to pick it up, but two versus four is definitely an issue. What One health, is it? that's all you need, really. I just feel like watching Zip defend monster like this just really rolls it back. Yeah. It's so lethal. 16 kills for Zipnix so far in this map. It's just a brutal turn of events for him. Shox. Well, Shox, 35 seconds. What are you going to do, Shox? Ride the lawnmower into the bomb site. Why not? You know what? Just help out a little bit. Looks like a, it's a kind of public land out here on Overpass. I don't know if you actually can ride. Uh, does it just break down if you stand on top of it? I'm assuming it does. The lawnmowers, yeah. I've never tried it, but... Oh, ah, nice. no chance. Dupree. A roller coaster, isn't it? But it's like, it's crazy how it's just every round. Even when they're winning, it's just every round with them. With Apex. I love it so much. It's such a trip. I still don't know. It's kind of like a liege, you know, where it's just like guys who show a lot of emotion like that. I don't know what it would be like to play with them. Fantastic, I imagine. Dupree goes down and that was in spite of it was a pretty deep setup they had the smoke they had the follow-up grenades to push him all the way in there now run boost from apex out right into lucky nice shot but like i said he's been pretty good at getting these first kills but then the follow-up is where things tend to get a little bit weird for him nice attempt at a flick there didn't quite get it deep nade maybe to set up lucky as well gonna land right on top of the rock but he is getting pushed from behind as well he's gonna be real careful Masuta thinking about walking in there. He misses the shot, but he won't. Good flick. And Lucky trying to see if he can just stay alive. As long as he's got back about here, which I guess he kind of doesn't. Maybe he's falling really far back, and he's going to get that kill on Sharks. Leaving Kyojin. And Lucky will pick it up. Nice. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't play in Blast any longer because he's still playing the movement map. So. Stuck in limbo. That's harsh. Nine to six, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half here. Second half is coming out now. Still the first map. Bubski running in first with the Glock, trying to get this bomb site. He's shooting before he saw anyone. That's very aggressive. Oh, that is a flick and a half. Taking down Bobski. I'm going to need to see the slow-mo replay of that one. Five versus three. Shox is already flanking them. They pretty much had that. They were so deep in the bomb site, and then Apex just, he just closed the door right on top of all of their fingers all at the same time just no fingers left after that it's all done shocks he's even got, they're coming back for him now but he's gonna get that headshot on dupree oh no they're in shambles right here magus get lucky a left trying to see if they can recover anything in this round i can't believe it also i can't believe shoxy dies there i mean not exactly the guy you want to go toe to toe with on a pistol round shoxy's a pistol legend way too good Oh, but that Apex, was, that was outrageous. That was so smooth, wasn't it? Really well done. <sighs> That's the panic, and then eventually it works. And now Astralis, it looked so good. They had the nice flat. They had the nice smoke for upper as well to just lock that out. Now they're just going to get picked off one after. Deep in the B bomb site, by the time they even realize, and two of them are at L bend and two of them are in the water, you know, behind the bomb site, it just feels like they're so far split up. And you know, if they if they don't get those shots, they're just going to get run down. But they did, and it just blew apart. It was really... I actually think if he hadn't got those almost single-tap headshots, they just probably get run over by the blocks. So it, that was necessary. That was the way to win the round, and he did it. More power to him. Shots. <laughs> That's a safe place to be. I might actually start doing that. I might start making up dinosaurs, because who's going to know, right? Exactly. That's genius. I never thought about that. Although there's a meme going around right now. Well, we can talk about that in a second, because look at this aggression from Shoxy. He's deep in there. Ooh, bad, bad. bad timing. It's unfortunate. He just got trained. Yeah, he, just, he it was like a weird game, but Magus, I guess, heard him running back to slightly. I don't know what he skipped it, but he was able to pick that one up. That'd be interesting to go back and and, real, and sort of see if you can listen in and, and find out, did he make some noise walking back? Is that what gave it away for Magus? Probably the nade pull. The that could pull. be too. These guys aren't playing on land, so they can they'll, they'll be hearing all of those details. Misutra and Saibu are left. Two versus five. Be nice to do just a bit of damage, anything like that. Because again, Astralis are, uh, are building like an interesting little comeback here. At the end of the first half, they were starting to look a little bit better. T side on overpass can be pretty lethal. Won't count them out just yet. 
Although you can't count them out just yet, though, because look at the state of the economy for Vitality. After that yeah. second round, they've all been able to just bank. So it's still going to be a pretty, pretty decent buy coming up for them here, Vitality. Yeah, and that's obviously important, right? Got to, got to stay in there as long as you can. They're going to be the five manning cyber win the bomb site. He's got one of them at the FAMAS, but Lucky was up there waiting for him, so good. You'd like to see it. 11-7 as a scoreline favoring the Vitality side. And we'll see what, what they can put together here. If they buy in this round, which, I mean, they have the money too, right? But if they if they go all in, it does involve delaying the AWP on Saiwu. Oh, no, no, they don't. They just, they get shocks to Shox buy. is a real team player on this one. Wow, all right. They just squeaked through with it. That's pretty good. Well done. I mean, it's, it's still crazy to me that, uh, you know, Apex and Shoxy were off to a strong start in the first half, but Zywoo's in the lead on kills. So, you know, eventually the king will get his due. And he will find the shot. Oh, Shoxy with the double. Two headshots. Dupree and Bubsky out of it. Really well done. And just to just to add to it, Misuto and Kyojin still only have eight kills between them. So... They, they don't even need to show up. When you got right, when you got these guys, I mean, to be fair, Zaiwu 19, Apex 18, Shoxi 19, I mean, yeah, they're, they're doing work. There, there is just isn't anything left over for Kyojin and Misoda. Yeah, it's a bit rough, isn't it? Brilliant work, though. Vitality, man. This has set themselves up perfectly. We have some nades for them to play with here on Astralis' sign. Magus, though, just hoping that the lurk up short is going to work. Very frustrating for uh, Astralis if they can't, again, at least do some some kind of economic damage. I know I bring it up a lot, but this is a, this is kind of close to even a force-up for Vitality. I mean, they had very little outside sort of grenades to work with in this round. They could only just really buy the guns and some armor and not much else. So if they just win outright and, and get to save almost all of it, that is going to be such a relief for them. Sneaking through, a little bit of a flash to set it up. Magus trying to find some target, but not going to be able to. Instead, it's Apex with a double kill and on his mental side. I mean, he even got benched at yep. a point uh, towards the end of last year where the team said enough is enough and need to take a break. And so for him to be here in this position after the break, after EPL and now going into Blast and to see him performing at such a high level, it is heartening. It is very nice to see because it was getting a little grim there for a bit. Taking that timeout was a really good call from the organization's point of view. Well done. Kyojin, he was moving around a lot down there. Now they're coming through. The actual smoky ran out of bullets, still able to get a kill. And I think he did a lot more damage. Yeah, there's the assist on Dupree as well. So credit to Kyojin. He did actually hit a lot of people, but only got the one kill. Misuta there to pick up the triple instead. That's nice. And lucky with a Mac 10 on his own. And this is all of the cash, more or less, for Astralis put into this round. So far, not getting what they were hoping for. I was a bit worried because Kyojin, he'd, he'd set himself up on that back slope where the sewer is, the sewer grating or whatever. He sort of wedged himself up there and then he started moving around and started, you know, it's like, just pick a position and try and trust in it. All that moving around stuff could be very dangerous if they come through at the wrong time. So he did all right at the end of it, but that had me a little bit worried. So we've talked about a lot in the past experience, trusting your angles, trusting your positioning. Yeah. And Shoxi in the pre-match interview was mentioning it as well, you know, how there's still Quite a bit of ground to cover with these young French players. I can't believe he gets a kill. Still <laughs> take Shoxi out. Okay, then. Jumping back. But, uh, you know, that the, these young players like Misuda and Kyojin are doing are having so much to catch up on. And there is such a gigantic gap. <laughs> the face of someone who just got Mac-10. There is such a gigantic gap between Tier 1 French CS and the Tier 2, Tier 3, you know, up-and-coming yeah. uh, CS. It really is just Pug CS beneath the likes of Vitality. Uh, LDLC are out there in the mix, to be fair. But, um, you know, there's just such a huge gap. So if you bring anybody up to Vitality, they have so much to learn. And Joxie was pretty honest about that earlier in the interview, saying that that, that is the case. That there's a lot of ground to cover. And it's going to take a bit of time. We're seeing more from Kyojin, for sure, as to why they picked him up to begin with, right? He is yeah. capable. But there's a lot of ground to cover. Ooh, nice shot. Simon with that AWP. Obski. Little Lurkarino. Yeah. Apex not checking the corner. That's unusual. But I mean, it must be possible to find a lot more French talent. How many people in France? Like 70 million or something? I don't know. A lot of people, yeah, like 80 million or something like that. Yeah, so... I don't know. French culture does not lend itself to playing video games, though. Like, not at all. It's because you got, like, cool stuff Although, outside, mountains and rivers. That, and that being said, the last dream hack I was at, I literally had these guys who just were just like, yeah, I just collect unemployment and play video games all day. I'm like, okay. France is... Even, even the but, dream. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done. Living, you should publish, living publish the a dream. book on how to do that. And that would be popular. Do that. But that is frowned upon. Well. It's early days. We'll convert them. We'll get to them one day. They have that AK. They have a Tech 9 and a couple of deals on the Astralis side. They're down six rounds. If they can steal, if they can sort of find a way to magic their way around, you know, back into it, mm. that would really make a difference here. Because I think they're losing grip a little bit, even though there is, it's sort of, I wanted, to, I really want that story of the Astralis, like, oh, they're clawing their way back. But right now, they're kind of not. And yeah, this is, this is potentially a fairly important round. Not quite the shot there. Shots, though. Pretty easy stuff. Sip will take him down right afterwards, though. Still a three on three. The bomb is being planted. About seven seconds left. That's not bad. They can't really get the other gun, I think, though. That's kind of unfortunate. So still stuck with that AK and the deals. No smokes for the bomb defuse either. That's a little bit weird for the CT side. Kyojin will find a kill. That's important. That was on the AK as well. Lucky going to be going down. And Bubski, he wants to find that AK. He's going to be able to, and they must have seen that. Just too many people coming his way. But yeah, when you see that disappearing off the ground, you're like, <laughs> that's not, there's no such thing as magic in Counter Strike, and that's. Uh, get some rounds on the board. So let's see if Astralis can at least get into double digits here. Uh, and really start to put a little bit of pressure on Vitality because, you know, Shox's antics are kind of, it's kind of telling all right now that it doesn't really feel like Vitality are under any kind of pressure against Astralis right now. No, he's making meme faces. He, he's, yeah. yeah, he's horsing around. It's good. We like that. We like it. We like horsing around. Well, yeah, or just the memes, right? Just gotta, gotta get that. We're all fans of memes here, Anders. Make a little compilation at the end of it. Shot sneaking in, catching me. Just playing so aggressively, and that kind of goes with feeling that good about the game. And suddenly, you just you feel like you have the, the mental space to go for that kind of a fight. Shocks just walking back. Maybe could have seen Dupree if he stuck around, but fair play. Feeling, uh, feeling like playing a little bit more defensively. And it's on Astralis to figure out what to do from here on out. Four versus five. Especially because look at the, they have so much utility still. 55 seconds left. Still a couple of incendiaries, handful of flashes. Misuda down on that lower bomb site though. Yes. Not a great angle for Shoxy to hold though, just because it's not gonna be his advantage. What was going on there? Apex must've been looking at the minimap. Yeah, I have to assume, right? He just sort of blanks there. Yeah. Shox is getting some backup in uh, in Cyborg's coming in with the other AWP. So that could be fair, could be really aggressive. Double up setup. Smokes are obviously going to be put into play. Shox nearly getting one before the fight even got started. Yeah, but he's worried about long and for good reason. The flashes are in there. Just going to be flanking. He still gets the kill. Flashed and all. And the suits are going to try and help out there. Shox with one more. Make double kill on each of them. And Astralis. They find that ninth round. Yeah, I'm playing in a tournament. I'm just playing gathers. Yeah, try to try to not be in my line of fire, or <laughs> or just See, that would could have could legitimately feel just slightly triggered. There, just be like, guys, come on, seriously. Both of you too. Both of them ran in front of uh, in front of them there, so you just could not get a shot. But, Tough times. You know, Astralis again, a bit more decisive, a little bit of a faster pace here. And yeah, it's that's, good. Uh, that's working out for him. Maybe it's uh, maybe that's what uh, is necessary here. Just instead of let, giving yourself time for doubt to set in, to start uh, second guessing yourself, you just commit to the bomb side and say, "We're going B, you guys. One way or another, we're getting out there." Odds that they just finish finish it on a deagle round anyway. Mm, high. Feel so like it could happen. Alive. It's it it would be be extended this kind of game. <laughs> There's the shot. <laughs> oh. Oh, They're just holding gaps. It's well. ridiculous. They're just holding. It's like the narrowest possible oh. angle. He did see it, but Lucky obviously favored with that scope. So good return kill. Cyborg might be running into his death as well up in that bomb site out in the open. He's trying to get it anyway. And Dupree's kind of missing the shot. I feel like he had a good chance there to get something done. Apex walking up behind them. In fact, he's going to see the gun barrel. No, but he doesn't. And I think that gave it up. Oh, he still hits the headshot. Absolutely ridiculous. And he puts the three down at 27. More deagles are coming in. It's still a three on three. And Astralis, they've got to be a little bit panicked. They're running out of time as well on top of everything else. It's 30 seconds on the clock. And Sip, he could find an empty bomb site down here, but they're still going to have to be sort of scrambling to get in and get the bomb down and everything else. What an uncomfortable round. Sip, he's clearing it out. I think they don't know it yet, so he's going to find a free kill on Kyojin. Tries to follow it up there, Misuta, but not able to. And Sip might have just saved Astralis in this round. <sighs> what a round, Anders. The entire time I'm just gritting my teeth. Yeah. 
just puckering up because uh, at any moment you know body shots coming in on Dupree and Zip but if those are headshots we're looking at a completely different round and yeah this is Zaiwu he gets that shadow this is one of those advantageous positions where you have that shadow it's an early tell so you can see them before they can you know before they come around the corner nice easy headshot for him this is so scary. I can't believe Apex even got the first kill on Bubski in that one. That, that didn't look like it was going to be doable, but well played at the end here as well. So, a 10th round to be picked up. That's not, that's not good at all. So crazy. Saiwu is riding the lawnmower now, I believe. I think it's riding underneath. I'll just crank it at, maybe. You want to just kind of just slam it on and break those toes. Shoxi going to have the AWP instead of Zaiwu. They forgot the bomb. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if that comes back to bite them. Please, please don't lose the map like this. I mean, it's really early on. Nice triple nade. Okay, fair enough. If that's all they want to do, then someone can just pick it up now. But it would have been tragic if they'd just gone for like a, you know, like, we're gonna run, and then someone's like, who has the bomb? Wait a minute. Magus doing everything player. for this team. Yep, team player, as always. Problem is then, uh, you didn't, you missed the cutoff to buy more nades. Could have bought another flash after that HE. Keep buying them, throwing them last one. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty forward setup on Misuta. He's gonna keep going. A little bit risky. Too risky, it turns out. Apex, good follow-up. And he knows it could have been close by. He wanted to bank that off, but instead he's gonna get caught by Dupree. So favorable trade for Astralis so far in the round. Shox is really far pushed up, and that's in spite of him having the AWP. A little bit of a weird angle there for Dupree, but with the AWP against the AK, he's going to find that shot anyway. I can't believe he hits that shot. Well done. Ooh, but he's going to get caught. Still a two on three. Because I was so alive, though. He is, and it's about 35 seconds, so if they run into Cyber up here, do they keep going, or do they want to change their minds, or maybe they just take him down with this long-range AWP? It could be. Bit of a smoke. 20 seconds now. They're gonna have to be pretty quick about this. He's gonna call in for Kyojin surely to help him. Kyojin's still standing still, and Zaiwu's gonna be going down. Wow. Hmm. Uncharacteristic miss from Zaiwu. Yeah. He a little caught off guard there. Meg is gonna get a kill for free, and that's Kyojin kind of left on his own. Money is terrible for uh, Vitality, so it should be a half buy coming up next. Not that Kyojin had a Molotov there, but you can Molotov that A plant from the B bombs. Mm -hmm. You can throw nades. I mean, obviously people know you can throw them from A to B, but you can throw them from B to A as well. Yeah, you can it's flash doable. and all that jazz. Yeah, but Molotovs too. It's pretty sick. I think it's a, it's a niche, niche position to be in where that's going to be helpful. Just not expecting the second guy on the corner. Yeah. So it's a little unfortunate there for Apex. That's a, I'm really surprised at Zaiwu just going for the wide swing. I mean, really trying to get the information there. And uh, of course, when, you, when you're when you just out in the middle of Africa like that, you're gonna get punished. Apex is such a nice guy that he's probably just agreements about how to play the game. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that even that is an interesting story to try and cover at one point in the future, right? How do you how do you actually mend all those fences and, and say, all right, let's, let's actually try and find a way to do this. It certainly feels like they have right now. I hope it's gonna continue because it is really cool to watch. Now, I will give some credit to Astralis. The fact that they've even made it back here. Remember they had to win, was it 15-7? Uh, so they win eight rounds in a row. The fact that they're even up to 11 right now and they've got the economy on their side and everything else, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of impressive. Would be fun if they could put it into overtime. I mean, that would put some, some doubt into Vitality, surely. Well, we have to keep in mind that Nuke is up next. And uh, Nuke is Vitality's playground right now, as far as they're concerned. Apex, even that is, that's too much to hope for. Heavy favorites, heavy favorites on this map as well for Vitality. There really wasn't a, a safe haven for Astralis to go to. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> the last bullet, get out of here. See, this is why I'm this is why I'm not a professional player because that never happens to me. I, I never just get like I'll I'll definitely do the sh shooting while stumbling back ways up the stairs and just like trying to get away from the action, but I don't get headshots on the way. Mm -hmm. Can I get? Can we See, get? That's the difference, Sanders. <laughs> and he'll say it was all intentional too. You know, true. It's just bullet control. And while Kyojin, he's out. 
just saving the M4, waiting for the next round. They're going to have the full buy coming up in the next round. So Zaiwu will have his AWP. They could have money for a double AWP setup if they wanted to. Could pass. Kyojin could, uh, could hook Shoxi up. What is that? That is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh. Shoxi's just hamming it up. I don't blame him. Yeah, exactly. He was just running and gunning. So I was just like, what is this amateur doing? Dude, I like how Shoxi is just all interpretive dance and stuff, you know, with him. You know, just It is, it's, you're right. It's what is it? Uh, it's, it's like black and white cinema. You know, he's just acting it all out for us. It's really good. I enjoy it too. That's five in a row for a Charlotte. They've caught fire. I did he see the gun barrel? I wonder if he did. Well he's gonna assume anyway that someone's here, presumably, but um I don't know if he could spot that. He's gonna be just a little bit more aware, although Lucky is actually playing that edge. Could be dangerous. Even if Shark just stays here, it's such a powerful position to have. You've, you've limited the map for the T side so much mm -hmm. that it still makes sense. So let's see if they can come find him. And it's kind of tricky for the T side to pop flash this position because there's so many places that the flash could not flash. If you if you put it close, it's not going to flash anyone behind, you know, all the tree and everything. Oh, but they're going to walk around. This is a great move. Shark, no. They can't They'll even check. see him. He's in the one position. Uh, so they feel like they might have checked. Oh, and Lucky is there. Instant headshot with the Tech 9. And I can hear our analyst just howling with laughter right now. I know, and he must not have had any head armor. Not that I think it would have made a difference, but he, he, no, he popped didn't. in one bullet. Shoxy, you had money in the bank as well. You could have afforded head armor. I know. Instant death from the Tech 9, though. And now, well, man advantage. Astralis are now on fire five rounds in a row. Oh, and Zaiwu just, they cannot catch a break here, the Frenchman. Man, he's so relentless. Wanted to try and put the pressure on and run him down, but eventually he's going to turn the other way. Flashed in Kyojin and actually flashed himself as well from, I think, an enemy flash. So not a team set up there. Misuta, good little pick up. Oh, nice follow up. He's not been doing much, Misuta, but that was really, really important. That could actually end the map in their favor here. Lucky inside of the smoke one versus two very hard to do anything especially with the awp he's going to try and go straight for the plant but they're shooting him he's going to come out try for the no scope tech nine is out and finally he goes down and it's apex to pick it up <laughs> 16 to 12 at the end of it what a mad first map to you. it's at the end of it apex on 26 shocks on 26